Good morning, friends. Today, I want to talk about something that's referred to as negative emotions. First, I want to say I don't believe there's anything as negative emotions, meaning bad emotions. Negative emotions could be anger, sadness, fear, disgust, shame. Again, all emotions are valid, and I don't feel like anything is and negative emotions. These are all emotions that are supposed to be felt and are real. And we are not supposed to always be happy or positive. That's toxic positivity. So today I wanna to talk about the specific emotion of anger. Let's talk about the essential emotion of anger. Anger starts at a very young age. It helps us to create boundaries. So that is the, the reason of anger. It's saying, no, I don't want you to come into my space. And we all know that as a very young child, maybe at one years old, your first word was no, or your first, or your child's first word was no. So no, so anger is actually there to help us set boundaries. If you grew up in an environment where a parent experienced very much anger possibly rage maybe even in the form of physical emotional maybe even sexual abuse anger when you see it or when you experience it by others can come off as very scary i was one of those people that when i saw somebody angry it triggered me immensely because i grew up in a household with an immense amount of physical and verbal abuse. And when I felt that anger, I immediately shut down. And if it was somebody who was close to me that was experiencing that anger, I felt not only did I shut down, but I felt like I was part of the problem. And that took so many years I've been on this healing journey for 10 years and now I realize that when somebody is angry, it has nothing to do with me, it has a lot to do with how they are experiencing their inner world and their inner landscape and it has so much to do with their own past. The healing journey, the process of working on yourself is never ending. But here's how you know when you've really come far in your healing journey is when you can put yourself back in those old situations and you're responding in a completely different way. So before maybe you were reacting to a situation, you were shutting down, making yourself really small, and now you're responding to a current situation and you're realizing that this anger that this person is having is their personal experience and you can separate yourself from them. You no longer, it's like you have a, a big shield around you and you are only in your own energy and no longer consumed with that person's energy. Now I wanna talk about anger being a protector against a very vulnerable part of yourself. If you're familiar with Eckhart Tolle, he wrote several books like The New Earth, um, The Power of Now, he has a sentence that, let me know if you guys resonate with this. He says, wherever there's anger, there's always pain. In my personal experience with people, it's much easier for them to experience anger than it is to experience sadness. If you're somebody who is always angry, or if you know somebody who is always angry, just know that there's a lot of pain underneath the persona that they exude to, this, to the world, this very angry person. So if you're one of those people that are angry all the time, or if you know somebody who is angry all the time, just know that there's something really deep inside of them that's aching, and they are too afraid to show that to the world because it's, it's so vulnerable, and that anger is they're protecting them. So it's, it's this big shield 
that they have to wear to the world because there's so much pain underneath that maybe they don't ever want to expose to the world and you have to accept that you have to be okay with that another thing that's really important to address here is if you are one of those people that are angry all the time and you know that there's pain underneath that i want to tell you that if you are not going to take care of that pain that's underneath if you are not going to do the work, go to therapy, talk to a counselor, coach, do the work that takes a very long time. And I know it gets harder before it gets easier. Your anger, the pain that's underneath that anger is going to manifest into an illness. So it could be dementia, it could be cancer, it could be cystic fibrosis, it could be an autoimmune disorder, it could be a list of things. And I, I'm not saying this is scary, I'm saying this to be very honest. Also know that if you're not ready to deal with that vulnerable part of you, no one is forcing you to do that. You will know when you're ready. Just listen to your intuition and your gut feelings. There's never gonna be a right time to quote unquote heal. The time is now. The time is now. Maybe this message is getting you at a time where you've been thinking about starting the process and you're really hesitating because you know there's so much that's going to come up. I know how that feels and I want you to know that, like I said, it does get harder before it gets easier. It does take time, but it's it's possible that that calmness, that uh, amount of love for yourself, that uh, peace is there waiting for you. It's just going to take some time, but it is possibly like always thank you for listening to my blabbery today and i hope you guys have a great thursday it's thursday right now in sweden i know in some places it's still wednesday night but it's thursday i'm walking in the forest here all right have a great day Hi, Tell me Okay, I the salt on McDonald's french fries has three ingredients. Three ingredients in salt? What? What three ingredients are in the salt at McDonald's? Salt, which is sodium chloride, sugar, dextrose, 